Hello and welcome to another episode of Pieces of Time. It's been quite a while since I've done a, an unboxing. Um, it's not that I've not bought watches, it's just that I've not done the unboxings. Um, so, what have we got today? Well, we've got... I can't remember what it was called. One of these. It is a... Tavisa. Now, these have been reviewed countless times from... Other watch uh, reviewers, yeah, I get a nice little bracelet there. Let's put that on. Might bring us some good luck in these trying times. Um, little wipey cloth there, and then you've got the actual watch itself. Now, as you can see, I've bought the four-color dial one. Ooh, it's nice and I bought this with a specific thing in mind and that specific thing was to fill it with oil and the unfortunate thing is that it's got to press on back And I didn't know that at the time, otherwise I wouldn't have bought it. But apart from that, it's a very nice looking watch. I really like it. It's quartz movement, obviously. Because uh, you couldn't fill it with oil if it was an automatic movement. The bezel... Unless that's got a plastic coating on comes pre-scratched for you which is nice isn't it they scratch it for you so then you don't have to no I'll tell a lie it's got a, it's got a plastic coating on it <laughs> we'll take that off in fact we'll just rip all plastic off now Ooh, look at that that's nice isn't it get rid of that out of the way let's rip all this off funny thing is funny thing is um, you know, I might actually have scratched the bezel there. That's not a good sign, is it? It's not a good sign for. No, I haven't. It's just a bit of plastic here. The movement, by the way, for ten dollar, for ten dollars, is shocking. <laughs> okay. Let's, uh, let's just get to rip it apart and see what happens. There it is. Okay. So it's a stainless steel bracelet pressed clasp with the logo on there etched in etched to visa logo there the clasp eh, clicks shut quite nicely 
I've actually got a clasp like this that I bought for about eight quid from another shop. It's nice finishing on the um, on the case, you know. Then links are hollow. Uh, it's about forty odd mil, I think. Is not, yeah, forty five millimeters, which is not classic like Rolex. Yeah, it's not classic Rolex sizes, is it? Fifty one mil lug tip to lug tip. It's massive. It's a massive it's a big old unit that. I mean that's you 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 you're encroaching onto Casio kind of territory. I'm guessing the stainless I'm guessing that this stainless steel is not the good stuff. It's not the five or whatever it is, the six or whatever it is. Because I've literally just measured that with that caliper. And I know they're pretty sharp in places. Let's put a little scratch on there. Straight out the fucking box. I'm not too fussed though. Because it was only £10. Let's have a look at it on the wrist. I think I'm more chuffed with the little bracelet, you know. It looks really nice. It's got a little Chinese dragon on it. Can we see that? There you go. Anyway, there it is on the wrist. On my 8 inch, 7.5 inch, whatever the fucking hell it is, wrist. It looks alright. Looks alright. This I've affectionately named the Jester. Because the colours suggest that it's a bit of a Jester. Okay. As is always with these cheaper Chinese watches, you don't get much. You get more with this one than you have. I have done with more expensive ones, actually. And you get a little tag, you get a little cleaning cloth. It comes well wrapped up so it's not scratched. You get this kind of VIP thing. Doesn't really say what it is because it's all in Chinese. But, yeah. A little, little, bit, of, little bit of some plastic for the sea there. For the fishes. Get a nice little booklet to read through at your ledger. Yeah. <clears throat> so that's that. You get a nice little cardboardy box there. Um, it came with this one of these bag bag of shite. I won't be using that. I'll try it out. I won't be using it. But I'll try it out. There we go. Let's fill it with oil in the next video. It's shiny though, isn't it? Thanks for watching. Please do come again.